Hello, it's me, Colin, coming tonight with a Strike Cold Shave Nostalgia Scent. Um, I believe this is their barber shop. It's a very good smelling scent, though. Um, and I have this Blushity Splash, Don't Talk Back. Um, for razor tonight, I am using the Rex Envoy. Bowl. I am using the Brain Bowl from Twin Pines, and I'm using the Nostalgia Rubber Set 400-4 with my knot in it. Um, and this stuff whips up a great lather. If you haven't used Strike Gold before, um, it whips up a really good lather. Lather has been sitting here a while. I got a little distracted i got a alert that yaki yachi yachi yaki on ally express app was having a live sale and so i got to watching it and um yeah so i picked up a one of their little brushes and it's normally like 30 something dollars or whatever for a 24 millimeter badger brush picked it up for 10 bucks and then picked up a um lime something cedar soap set um the soaps are normally 20 dollars or there there's something 20 something dollars um and i believe um, they look like they're, I zoomed in and it's hard to tell, but it looks like they're made by um, a certain person out of South Africa. Um, and so I picked it up. They had it on sale because it's not a scent. I don't believe that's sold through West Coast Shaving or anybody else, but it's lime something and cedar wood um i don't know if there's menthol in it it doesn't say on their website so let's hope that there's not um i'm gonna pick that up for ten dollars for the soap and ten dollars for the splash um so if i get it and i use it and it has menthol in the soap which i hope it doesn't it'll be going up on the bst for $20 for the set. Um, so that'd be a good deal for somebody, even though it's what I paid. Um, whatever. Um, and then I picked up, they have a new katana head um, on there. But it had a, um, a cool handle that I was like, you know, neat. I'm a weirdo. And so they had that one on there for like six bucks on sale so we got that too yeah and i think that's all i got but let's get on with the shave now that we know what i'm using nostalgia from strike gold the brain bowl from twin pines rex envoy and the rubber set 400 brush with my uh, i believe it is my tempest knot in it um it actually feels like it's my typhoon knot nothing better than lathering with some ice cold lather because I got distracted. Mm. 
confusing noise in the background. I forgot to close the door. And so now my cat is climbing up the shower curtain because it's crazy. And we got interrupted from the alarm for giving my dog her meds. So, uh, there we go. So the cat's out, door shut. Um, and as I'm lathering, I'm thinking of a um, conversation I had today uh, with Edward, or Ed, um, about lathering. Um, and he was talking about how lathers look on camera and sometimes lathers look a lot more thicker and slicker um, on some videos well with with some knots um that aren't as dense, and this has been sitting there for quite some time. And this knot really isn't um, that broken, and it's only been used a few times. Um, and so, um, but with the we're talking about and he said how sometimes he'll see that my lather is thinner but it seems to be really slick well one thing I've noticed is that um, it's not that it's thinner it's just that um, a lot of times with the badger brush and if you watch when I shave, I'm really heavy handed. So I tend to, when I paint, I tend to paint real heavy. And so I take half the lather back off. Um, but with a synthetic brush, the bristles are more floppy. Um, and so they allow you to be a little more heavy handed. And so it leaves more lather on your skin. Plus the synthetic brushes, you know, like we talked about, don't hold lather because they're plastic. And then I have all the microscopic jagged edges that natural hair has. You know, you're talking about something that was, I don't know if it, if it's hot plastic that's pushed through stuff that's extruded to make these fine hairs or if it's pulled uh, to make them. But it's going to be a the fiber is going to be a smooth surface, whereas or I should say a smoother surface. When if you look at both of them under microscope, um, the natural hair is going to be more jagged. Um, But if I actually took my time and paid attention, you know, like tonight, I could lay the lather down to where 
it was thin at first where it looked like you could see skin through it or I could take my time and put it on to where it's thicker. Um, and this soap, um, I don't know if it's a different base than the other ones I've used um, from Strike Gold. The ones that I've used are newer, like they're brand new soaps that have just been released. And I don't know if this soap is, um, you know, it's, it's a new tub. It was only used once, it looked like. And it was scooped. Um, but I don't know how old that soap, if the base was an older base or, or what, but it is. A thirsty base. Um, it's just it likes water. That's for sure. That's better. I just had to go ahead and give that brush a good old squeeze. Not a squeeze, but kind of helped milk some of that um, lather out of that knot. And added some more water to it. See, so this is how I normally, I'm just like, I have coverage. Right? I have coverage, it's hydrated, it's slick, you know. Um, I could shave and have a good shave. Or I could go back in and take my time and lay it on. I guess it all just depends on how long I, I want to take. Um, I tend to talk so much and ramble so much that lately I've been trying to just um, Just been trying to um, concentrate on the shave and uh, not so much worried about making sure the lather is um, you know as thick as I want it to be um, because see the brush right there I still have plenty of lather in the bowl. Um, you 
doing so with the soft tips and badger they natural hair tends to want to take the moisture with it and hold the moisture in the hair because that's its purpose you know hold heat retain heat hold water uh, whatever Let's get on with pass two. The Rex Envoy is such a nice uh, razor. I really enjoy how it shaves. I think the biggest thing with wet shaving too is. Um, a lot of us get caught up with, well, So and so does it this way, or blah blah blah. Uh, the way I figure it is, if it works for you, do it and enjoy it. Everybody's face is different. Everybody's time is different. Everybody's enjoyment is different. Everybody's bodily struggles are different. Um, you know, like me and Ed were talking today. There's days when, you know, four minutes is all he could get out of trying to make a lather. Um, and so... You know, he needs soaps and he needs to find the best method for him that he can make the most productive, the best quality lather that he can make in the shortest time. Without sacrificing um, quality of it. And it's real easy in this hobby to to look at these people's lathers that are on YouTube. Um, and try to make your lather like that, like theirs. Now, if you have the time to, um, and the ability to, uh, and by the ability, I'm not saying the skill, I'm talking the physical ability to. Um, to where you don't have um, any health issues to keep you from it, then if that's what you want to try to attain, um, you know, go for it. There's nothing wrong with it. I enjoy making a lather. There's days when, um, you know, I might work my lather for
you know, six minutes. Just working it, trying to get the absolute perfectly dialed in lather. There's other days when I might work it for two minutes and be like, good enough. Um, and like y'all have seen on some of these videos, there's days when my lather is dry and on my face I'm having to uh, spray more water on my face and uh, do that because I was in a hurry making my lather or my neck was hurting from looking down or my hand was hurting and going numb so I wasn't able to uh, make the lather the way I wanted to. Um, and so you know none of us know what everybody's struggles are in life um you know right now y'all might think all right you know he's doing good with that brush well if you really knew the truth the way i'm holding it right now who holds a lather brush like that i didn't know i was holding it that way my hand I have no feeling in my hand right now and I thought I was holding it completely different but from my hand my nerve damage that I have um, I thought I was holding it completely different and I felt it on my face and I was kind of slapping it around uh, because I was just barely holding on to the brush um, tight enough to keep it from falling on the ground um, and thankfully it had these, uh, you know, this lip here to keep me from dropping it. Um, so we don't know what everybody's struggles are, um, in life. Um, so just, um, like CDB says, you know, it's your shave. Do it your way. Enjoy it, you know. The moment it starts becoming not fun, step back and reevaluate it and ask yourself what happened that it's not fun anymore. You know, and see if there's something that you could change to make it fun again. You know, like Ed, you know, on days when his hands are bad and he can't make a lather, what does he do? He uses Paraso cream. He's learned to adapt um, to where it's still enjoyable. And my hat's off to him, you know. And from the sounds of it, he has a beard, um, that's pretty thick and heavy, uh, that actually wears out his collars on his shirts from where it grows in so heavy. And, uh, you know, he shaves in the morning. And he needs another shave by, you know, before the work day is over because his beard growth is so heavy that it's already started growing back and it's um, tearing his shirt up from the growth from where it's so thick and stuff. Um, you know, so my hat's off to Ed for um, finding a way to continue to enjoy the hobby.
And that's what life's all about is uh, finding enjoyment. Um, and adapting and improvising to all the different curveballs that come to us in life. Um, you know, and, um, you know, the whole saying with Forrest Gump when uh, he said, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Um, it's the funniest saying, but it's uh, more true than uh, no truer words have ever been spoken. You know, it looks like that delicious chocolate and you bite into it and it's the horrible orange one or something, you know, that makes you want to gag and vomit. That's how life is. Everything seems to be going smooth sailing and steady. And then what happens? Your car starts making a weird noise and guess what? Right now, it's going to cost you $3,500 to fix it or something crazy. You know, your tooth hurts right here. And you're like, oh, yeah, let me go get that checked. Next thing you know, you need $2,000 worth of dental work or something. But let me get all this cleaned up, and I'll be right back with you. We are back. Let's go over what we use today. We use the Twin Pine Wood Turning Brain Bowl. Well, that's why I call it that, because it looks like an MRI of a brain there. We use a uh, rubber set 400-4, which I'll stick back out there. We use the Rex, um, what is this called? Envoy, with a, what did we use today? Uh, first use um, Sputnik. Great blades if you've um, never tried them. I just are hard to find that are already in the U.S. Usually they have to come from Russia. Then I use Strike Gold Shave Nostalgia. Great smelling scent. And now it's time for the splishity splash. Oh, and after my shave during the break, um, during intermission when y'all went out and got refilled your popcorn and all that stuff, you know. Um, warm water, cold water rinse. Um, then I use the witch hazel. And then I use the, um, my face stuff here, the hyaluronic acid and face oils. Um, and now it's time for the for the goody goodnesses. And that has plenty of alcohol in it. Let me tell you that. And um to let y'all know, in case any of y'all are interested, I will have a few soap sets uh, that I'm ordering for me and um, some friends just on a, um, a scent that we all thought would smell good. It's going to be sandalwood, um, sandalwood, coconut, uh, cherry, uh, vanilla in the background, tonka bean, and I think that's it. I can't remember. Um, but I'll have a few sets of those. I think it's going to be a five ounce soap. 
I'll have to look to make sure. I can't remember, remember if it's four, five, or six ounce soap. But I have alcohol splash with it. Um, and they will be... They will be $30 a set. Um, or $35 a set. So if you want one, uh, shoot me a message. And as of right now, I think I will have two left over and she said I could order more if I need to. I may order some more just to have them on my Etsy because um, it smells really good. Um, but anywho, there it is and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I believe is um, Soap Commander Gusto which is Raspberry Lemonade. I don't know which razor I'm using, so if somebody wants to comment that, I will, that's a razor I will use tomorrow. If you want me to use a straight or a DE or a SE, let me know. Um, and we could go that route. Um, but yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. Um, let me turn on the thing saying battery, low battery. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow and until then, take care, be safe, and most importantly, God bless.